Hi everyone. On the occasion of World Heart Day, I wish each one of you a healthy heart and a healthy long life. To be healthy, there are a lot of things you need to consider. When it comes to heart, always there is a question whether our heart is healthy. There are so many other tests to see whether your heart is healthy. First among that when it comes to diet is the cholesterol levels. We see that cholesterol levels generally increase in people who eat lot of non-vegetarian food because cholesterol directly comes from the non-vegetarian sources. So this cholesterol intake if it increases it will directly clog the arteries thereby causing atherosclerosis and directly leading to heart diseases. So we have different types of fats involved here which are called saturated fats which generally hardens at room temperature. If you take it for example it is butter, dalda, palm oil. These are the oils which generally hardens at room temperature. So intake of all these high saturated fatty acids are the main causes for blocking these arteries or clogging these arteries. So we have other fats like the monounsaturated fatty acid which we call it as MUFA. We have PUFA which is polyunsaturated fatty acid and these polyunsaturated fatty acids have a large extent of decreasing TG cholesterol by 25, 25%. So intake of more of PUFA generally helps in reducing the TG cholesterol levels. So example for this can be the sunflower oil, the safflower oil or the corn oil which is generally available in the market. Examples for PUFA are sunflower and the corn oil. So for MUFA you have the other oils which are available in the market which are liquid at room temperature like olive oil, we have the soybean oil, we have the canola oil, we have peanut oil, all these come under the MUFA. So PUFA and MUFA can replace the saturated fatty acids. Whenever you buy anything, just check on the nutritional facts, check whether there is something called trans fat in it. These trans fats are very bad for heart. So if the percentage of trans fat is more in the ingredients, you shouldn't be buying it or eating it in a more amount. So we have something called as omega-3 fatty acids also. You have heard about this omega-3 fatty acids everywhere, I suppose. So these omega acids are helping the heart to be healthy. So these omega fatty acids are generally available in fish. The South Indian people who eat fish generally, they can take two servings of fish per week. If not, you can take two grams of fish oil per week or per day perhaps that will give you enough amount of omega-3 fatty acids. When it comes to vegetarian sources, we have the walnuts. People who are vegetarians can eat walnuts, can eat flax seeds, mustard seeds and the fenugreek seed which is called methi in daily life. So these can be included to increase the amount of omega-3 fatty acid in the body. So these omega-3 fatty acids also helps in reducing the cholesterol levels in the blood. I would like to add on to these, always a person who is sedentary are generally having more cholesterol levels. So try to be active, do some, uh, some amount of exercise, at least 20 minutes of walking 5 days a week, if not 40 minutes of exercise every day to beat up this cholesterol levels and limit the sugars in your diet, sugars directly convert into cholesterol. So see that you don't eat a high carbohydrate diet and more of sweets every now and then. Then another thing I would like to stress upon is the hypertension. For hypertension generally we say that following a DASH diet helps. DASH diet is nothing but a diet which is low in fat, which has restricted salt in the, di in the diet that is somewhere around 1500 to 2000 mg per day. And see that there is no hidden salt in the diet. It can come from any of the packed food items which is available. So you need to check on the ingredients before you buy and eat more of vegetables and more of fruits and moderate amount of exercise will help in controlling hypertension better. So these are the tips which you should be following to keep your heart healthy. Gift your loved ones with a health check package generally which is available in the hospital so that you have a check on your heart every year and you see that your heart is healthy. Thank you.